Back again with another really quick serum tip for you. Did you know that you can stack warp functions on a single oscillator? You can. Uh, it involves the render function, which is um, only uh, able to be used on the standard warp functions. Uh, everything uh, from sync through quantize. Once you start getting in uh, to these, you're actually going to have to use a resample function uh, to get a similar effect. Uh, and we'll go into that in a different video. Let's just keep this one short and talk about just the warp functions. Uh, so how we do this is let's just select one of these bad boys. Let's say the Ben Plus, for instance. So we're starting with a simple sine wave. And as we turn up our Bend Plus warp function, you're going to see that it's affecting the position of our sine wave here. So I like the result. I'm going to go over to my menu. I'm going to go down to Render Oscillator A Warp. And now I will turn off my warp. And if we turn our wavetable position, we've actually replaced. This was the basic shapes option for those of you who are uh, regular Serum users, you'll know that uh, this is not at all what this normally looks like. We have just rendered an entire wavetable, uh, 256 slides total in this wavetable. So it's a very nice and smooth transition. But we don't want to stop there. Let's start layering warp functions. So we already have a bend plus in here. What if we do... Uh, maybe some pulse width modulation as well. All right, and we still have this functionality. If we want to audition what this might sound like, so yeah, sure, let's say that we like that. And we're just going to render this again. Okay, so now if we turn off our, our warp option here and we turn our knob, you're gonna see that yes, indeed, we've got those things combined here. Let's do it one more time. Let's add a mirror. Let's audition this again. Pretty interesting result. So let's go ahead and render that one more time. All right, so again, we can turn this off. And we've now got something pretty unique. If we wanted to, we could say load in our own custom uh, warp function for a finishing touch and add just like maybe a little bit of subtle saturation effect to something like this. Might be a nice little finishing touch. Toss a modulator on there and let them go wild. Nice, right? All right, hope you get a lot of use out of this one. For those that didn't know, hopefully it's something brand new to you that uh, changes the way that you're even thinking about how you can work with your wavetables inside of Serum. Thanks for tuning in. As always, we appreciate your feedback, so leave a comment below. Let us know what you want to see in a future tutorial. And again, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again soon. If you're a music producer, subscribe to our channel and stay up to date on the latest PureMind tutorial videos, track breakdowns, elite sessions, and more. Visit us at puremind.com.